Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the second day of the Gridlife Motorsports and Music Festival. It's a privilege to be here announcing. There's like 5,000 people here at Gingerman. We've got HPDE, Time Attack, Drifting. Um, it's great fun. And so this is my ride for the weekend. It's the new BMW M2 Meduse. And uh, we're about to go out on the track in it. So uh, let's see how it is. First run of the morning, first car on the track. It's gonna be a nice cold track, and that means I'm gonna to have to keep the back end in check. I've got a 365 horsepower, twin scroll turbo, inline six, three liter. It sounds rather throaty. I got some big brakes, Pilot Super Sport tires, and I've got all the systems turned off, which in this car means Dorifto. I told them I would not drift too much during the uh, time attack sessions. So this thing, uh, it only weighs about 200 pounds uh, less than the M4, but because it's so much smaller and more nimble, it is brilliant. My phone alarm is going off. Oh no! I'm sorry about my cell phone alarm. I have to turn it off. Shut up! Got it. Okay, back to the review. <laughs> the steering is electric, and it's, frankly, it's pretty good. I'm a fan. A lot of this track is third gear. This is the hardest section right here. You gotta down, you gotta break deep here, and then cut it hard. Go right over. It's got big torque, 349 pound-feet, 369 with overboost, which you get in spurts. There is 124 heavy brakes. This car, this car is a six-speed manual. There's an available automatic, of course, as well, dual clutch. The dual clutch is a little quicker to 60, but I am perfectly happy with this manual. It's excellent. Caught an S2000. Pretty good grip at the front. The Pilot Super Sports are, uh, they're talking to me. We're going to get around this S2000. Wearing some type of uh, furry hat, okay? Ooh, I didn't love this thing when I first got in it, but then I did a lap full off, and it got much, much better. It's, uh, it kills power in kind of a funky way if you have it in traction off, uh, stability on. It doesn't die, it just sort of sucks the life out of the car a little bit. This track they repaved last year and it is really, really good tarmac now. Gingerman's a really fun course, 11 corners subtle elevation change. It's not a big Laguna Seca elevation change, but going down over here towards the lowest portion of the track, get in. That apex right there is the hardest one to hit. Let's get by this Integra. No problem. We're moving. This car is truly best experienced with the systems full off. Little ABS engagement there as I hold it down from 127. Feeling really good this morning. A little crisper, cooler air. It's only 64 outside. Yesterday it was really hot and I could sense some, uh, some heat soak from the, the turbo motor. Now we seem to be doing very well because it is 30 degrees cooler. Yes, easy to balance. It wants to dance, daddy brikey. It has auto rev matching with the manual if you want to be a total machine. I like to do it myself. I spent a lot of time practicing that move, not to give it away. To a computer, not in the ultimate driving machine. Yeah, see that the back end just dancing around there. Little oversteer, there we go. 
This car is best served sideways. It really is a magnificent balanced drift car. Really easy to get the back out, hold it there, and then straighten it out on your own. I like this. See this? The back end comes right around. Foot to the floor. This is a we right here. That, that's not where your brain thinks you should go, but someone yesterday was setting amazing lap times and showed me that line, and that's his line. So thank you, Anish. Man, this thing feels so much more powerful in the 65 degree morning air than it did in the 95 degree air of yesterday. It was really not slow, but it wasn't pulling the way it's pulling right now. Now I'm about it. All about it. These brakes are huge and they're, they're just these massive discs and calipers, but I still feel like they're getting a little hot. Come on. Well, can you tell I'm having a good time here? Oh no. I missed second. <laughs> That's what I get for bragging about doing it myself. A little oversteer. Oh, this is very good. This is very good. Right here, I like the way, oh, look at that, back end. Coming around and on power, sideways, right back. Yes. The wheelbase is just, is the perfect length. This car is, you know, you don't notice that it's only 200 pounds lighter than the M4. What you notice is how much smaller it is than the M4. That and, yeah, they could have made it lighter, but the size is what's up, especially when you've got those big box flares and the wide track width. It really, it helps it corner super flat and go. Yeah, that's a funky line, but there it is. That's how, that's the only way I've been able to nail that apex. If I turn in earlier, it doesn't really work out. What are we catching here? Is it Civic, Del Sol, Prelude. Get him in the braking zones. And this should be a fairly easy pass. Thank you, sir. Oh boy, are we having fun. This car is a, it's a quick track car, but it's a fast road car. On the street, this thing feels really, really quick. Get down, get down. When you lift, it tucks the nose. So if you enter the corner too hot, it'll understeer. But you can just lift and tuck the nose right back in. fun to balance this car right on that edge. That's really where this thing shines, is right here, right on the edge. When you're down, yeah, just dancing the back through. <laughs> that was sloppy, I'll be honest, that one, that one wasn't pretty. I tried to be a hero on the entry and it just didn't go well at all. On center steering is really tight. Although if the, if the rack could be a little quicker, I wouldn't mind like 5-10% quicker steering ratio. Getting a little cotton mouthy. No, not because of why you're probably thinking. Cayman. And thank you, sir. Track etiquette at this event is really, really good. I, I really like coming to Grid Life because the people here watch their mirrors. It is such a nice luxury. I'm breaking way early for turn 11 because if you mess it up, you mess it up really, really big. But right, man, right on that edge, just before the apex, also just after the apex, that's where... The Medusa really shines. Okay, that wasn't intentional. That, <laughs> that one, I may have hucked it in a little hard. 
I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm probably going to get yelled at for drifting. I don't think they like drifting in the HPDE sessions. But I can't help myself because the Meduse probably could use more of that apron. This car is just fun, man. It's all kinds of fun. When I first drove it, at, you know, a couple people here were like, how is it? I go, eh, I'm not, not entirely sold on it yet, but now, now I am. Shut up, alarm. I guess I hit the snooze button. <laughs> oh, shut up. Snooze again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have been better prepared for that. <laughs> car is fun. Everyone who says all those nice things about this car is, they're totally right. It's excellent. It's excellent. It doesn't have all that adjustability you get with the M4. You don't need to press like nine buttons to get into the max performance mode. The suspension's not adjustable, but they found a really, really happy medium in between track ready and, and every day. It's a little stiff on the road, but it's an M car, and that's fine. But all you've got is sport, sport plus, and, and comfort. Those are your only adjustments, and they don't adjust suspension, only drivetrain. Let's stay off the apron this time. Oh, I definitely took that divot with me on the last one. Oh, I'm making the track dirty. That's my bad first thing in the morning. Yes. I'm on it now, I'm feeling it. This car is great. Back end comes right around on power and it's just the best. Engine temps, everything looking good. Come on, get down, get down. Man, am I having a good time. Okay. We're going to cool it down and pit in because I think by now, by now you guys get it. This car's fun. It's a dancer. It's, uh, it's, it's not, not the thinnest girl at the ball, but she does like to party. And I am all about a party girl. Wait, I was going to cool it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so conclusions. Let's wrap it up. Uh, first off, this festival, Grid Life, is excellent. They're having one in Atlanta, Road Atlanta, later this year. Check it out. Um, and uh, the M2 is great. It's got good torque all over the RPM band. It's got great horsepower, especially when it's cooler. When it gets really hot, like all turbo motors, it's going to heat soak a little bit. Um, and you'll be down on power, but it still runs. It's still, it's still good. Um, the tires have a bunch of grip at the front, especially under threshold braking. And uh, the rears, they'll want to step out. So if you don't want them to, Sport Plus. And if you want to go full off and go drifty, drifty, spectacular. Um, the more I drive it, the more I love it. Um, it, it, it takes a minute to grow on you because it doesn't immediately feel special. But when you start to push it, 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 it just it comes alive and it, and it wants to play and it's just magnificent fun. So uh, thank you for joining me for Grid Life. This is the M Deuce. And uh, yeah, if you got 53 grand, you know, go buy one of these because they're dope. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.